Hello, beautiful souls. Today is the last video in the shadow work series, and it's a doozy. Trickster energy. Have you ever even heard of it? I'm going to give you the, um, the generic search engine definition. Both light and dark sides, though always present, and elements of playfulness. What defines a trickster is the trickster possesses no values, no moral or social values, and is at the mercy of the passions and the appetites. Yet through his actions, all values come into being. Trickster energy is always tied to one's ego. And it doesn't have to be uh, the big loud ego that's saying like you're better than them or you deserve better any of that because there's different aspects to the ego right the ego can be playful the ego is manipulative the ego is really um swayed by service to self mentality so what makes the ego feel good what makes the the body feel good it's like the the cravings the, the things that benefit the form more than the energy. And so uh, in my practice, this is absolutely not scientific in any way, shape or form, but this is what I have seen play out. And the common threads that each being tends to have an aspect of when it comes to determining why trickster energy shows up in them is typically their their energy body is clear. So they're free of other distortions. They don't have any negative entities. They don't have any negative implants. They make sure that they stay free and clear of curses, hexes, and spells, and all of that fuckery. So there's less of a playground to be manipulated. And it sort of breeds a bit of ego, a bit of complacency. Like, I'm... You know, I, my frequency is so high. I, these are things that I've I've been told by others in the last year and a half, two years. I had in, um, trickster energy. I was trying to kind of help guide them through. I'm, my frequency is too high. Negative energy can't bother me. And I'm here to tell you that I have detected negative distortions and some of our Pleiadian team members, I detected deep layered cloaked negative distortions in many of the Pleiadian high council members. Do you think their frequency isn't high? It absolutely is. But uh, so is their ego. So was their ego. And many of them thought they were invincible. Many of them thought they were beyond being contaminated by anything negative. But that's not true. And that's where the ego comes in. That e egoic mind can manipulate you and sway you. And if you really are neutral with a very tamed ego, you don't get swayed or triggered or manipulated by desires of the flesh of the mind of the matrix you understand that the elements and true energy from source creator is all there is and it's all within you so there is no there is no place for jealousy doubt, fear, resentment, judgment, all that stuff is gone because you've done your shadow work. However, if it's not gone, if triggers are happening, then you have more shadow work to do. And that's another thing people do not like to hear. They put forth so much work, so much energy, and they're working towards being clear they're working through their layers or working through all their shadows and they really give it a lot of effort and a lot of energy oh over and over and over every day they wake up and they they start this process and they're very serious about it it does not prevent them 
from having the egoic mind try to exert some power like on that on their way out right and so when you have a doubt surface no matter how small a fear uh resistance to letting go resistance to change positive changes judgments this is what fuels the trickster this is the other unique component about trickster energy once a being gets trickster energy they have to clear it so i can clear um chakra blockages i can clear entities implants curses hexes spells i can clear all sorts of things i cannot clear trickster energy neither can source neither can mother sophia because it is not for anyone else to clear because you have to do the work with your own ego it comes from within you it is not an outside attack it is all from within your own mind i know you don't like hearing that either but it's true and if you feel triggered we can work through that too you just got to let that ego go set it down tell it to be quiet and get busy so when the egoic mind is bringing to surface judgment let's say and it fuels that trickster energy the trickster is going to present in a trusted aspect you're going to have trickster higher self trickster source or a trickster guide the truth is that they they want to be put on a pedestal they want to have power over you this is true about your ego at any point in time but when you're full of distortions it's easier to manipulate you that's why they're called distortions they distort reality they distort the truth they distort the messages so when you're clear and you're doing a really good job of being clear this is what the the ego has left to work with well we'll just manifest as a trickster spirit that this person already trusts and have our fun there and in they're not harmful in the sense that they can't overtly cause you harm but they can sway you to cause harm to yourself by making bad choices by making service to self choices they can dissuade you from your path from your soul path, from your soul alignment to source creator. That is the real peril that one gets in when they have trickster energy. And trickster energy is something to really take note of. And everything else has to stop until you deal with your trickster energy because it continues to fuel. It, it looks for fuel within you was born out of a little bit of judgment and it's looking for some doubt and it's looking for some fear and it gets all these components together and poof, the power the force of the trickster energy grows over you so they love to drain you they love to keep you busy they live to I, I say chase in your tail they'll They'll feed the fear by saying, you've got this coming after you, or you've got that coming after you, or you've got this, you got to handle. And then they pretend to be your higher self and say, oh, you got it. You're clear. Good job. Let's go do blah, blah, blah. Let's go have fun. And let's go do this. But they're always looking to manipulate you to do what you, what they want you to do. What's not necessarily in your highest and best good. Is it? in your highest and best good to literally go from place to place to place to place to place to place all over doing the things that your trickster higher self says you have to do because if you don't do it bad things will happen well no because number one that's not how our higher self talks to us number two it's never really good for anyone to be run all over god's creation with out a viable outcome and that's another aspect of trickster they'll run you down here and then they go oh, this isn't what i thought it was going to be it's it's 
it's much, much worse. We got to go down here. And then they run you all the, to the other end. Or they tell you that you you just do this one big thing, then everything will be taken care of. And it's, it's preposterous. It's like dream stuff. But you do it anyway, because you have this trust in your higher self and you have a trust in source. This is not really about a faith issue as much as it is the, the ego and then manipulating you based off your faith. So when you have trickster energy, it's really important that you understand how a true higher self, a true source and true uh, guides function in our life. So a true source creator is always going to be supportive, loving, nurturing, compassionate. There is not, there is not going to be any dialogue with a true source, with true source creator that makes you feel unworthy, uh, undeserving, less than, unlovable, like any of these low vibration things, that is a red flag. That is not source. That is fuckery. A true guide is not going to take the lead of your life because that violates universal law, the law of consent. So when we associate with our guides when we have dialogue with our guides we are asking for wisdom we are asking for assistance in the form of energy clearing healing that kind of stuff wisdom that comes from the culmination of all of our lives and them being a part of those many 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 lives you don't get that from a trickster guide what you get from a trickster guide is manipulation you get talked down to you get talked to like you're um, not even their closest friend, you know, like you're trying to vie for some better relationship with them and you're always falling short. So again, red flags, guides, source creator, your higher self should always communicate with you from a place of neutrality. You ask a question, if you're unable to get the answer, it should be a yes or a no answer. If you push for more dialogue, you may get some, you may get silence because the decisions are for you to make. They won't take the lead in your life. Archangel Michael does not take the lead in your life ever, ever. So understanding that there are boundaries that... The true beings, source creator, Mother Sophia, the archangels, the ascendant masters, your guides have to work within helps you to better determine when you're dealing with true source or a true guide or not. Because the ones that are trickster, they have no moral code. They have no boundaries. Everything is a wild, wild west with them. And they understand that you have free will choice. So they want to manipulate you into making these free will choices through guilt, shame, blame. Like they are like the epitome of the, the matrix, but they're in your head. So trickster becomes very pervasive, very strong and pervasive whenever you have doubts, fear, resistance, and judgment. Like those are the four real hallmark feelings, emotions, and senses that really fuel the trickster energy. They know that you're resistant to changing something, then they're going to em embolden you to push back on letting go of things that would honestly free you from a weight. When you say, I'm going to let go of so-and-so because it's in my highest and best good. And then immediately one of these trickster energies come in and go, but what about blah, blah, blah? That's an angle. That's an immediate angle in response to their presence not being as important in your world if you get rid of such and such. You have to recognize that as manipulation. That's not your bestie. Okay, your higher self doesn't have a, a, a personality. Um, it should always be from a neutral place. Always. 
Now we get personality from our ascendant masters. I get a lot of personality from Yeshua and Maggie. And uh, I get a lot of personality from a lot of ascendant masters. But they are a being or the energy signature of the being. And so they have their own traits, their own personality, but they also do not take control of my life. They are always in a place of we're here to support you. We offer guidance. We do not take the lead in your life. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. We only offer help and assistance when it's asked for. So you're not going to have um, Ascendant Master Mary in your ear going, oh, you really think you should do that? You really think you should be eating that? Because, you know, your waistline's getting kind of thick. That will never come from an Ascendant Master, ever. It should not ever come from your higher self, and it should not ever come from source. These are free will choices. It's up to you to decide. Your waist may be exactly how it's supposed to be. That is judgment. If you feel judged by one of these energies, it's trickster. They do not judge us. But when we're judgmental, we're, we're easily feeding into this. So whenever you are what if in life and what about and how and, and like so many questions, 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 questions. Yes, you can question, but also process the answers so that you're not just fueling more doubts. Don't just run off on a tangent of questioning everything. The other part of it is our human brains can only handle so much information. I know the narcissists out there are saying, but we're the apex species. No, we're not. And our language is subpar. I mean, look at the crop circles for heaven's sakes. They leave us communication in pictures because we don't get it otherwise because we're so narcissistic. So I ask you to really get real with yourself. Get real. Do you still have doubts? Are you still lacking in faith? Does your faith and the amount of faith you have have a direct correlation with what you see in a tangible sense? Or do you have true faith in that it is the unseen that actually fuels your faith? It's the things that we cannot explain. It's the things that are not tangible, that are, don't fall into a scientific equation that actually gives you the most faith. When the trickster plays one side against the other, no one wins. You have to pull back. You have to pull back and really, really understand that faith and ego are rivals in this. And so if you re really feel triggered about faith, there's your area of shadow work that you need to work on. You may have some issues with your faith because you were taught to be faithful and show your faith in a certain way that no longer resonates. And you just have to come to terms with that and let that go and heal that wound. And when that is done, the trickster no more, there's no more fuel there, right? Because you've healed it. I'm like, dang, got to move on to the next thing. So whenever your ego has no say, when you have gone through and you're like, ah, the ego is attached to your earthly incarnation that you're having right now. So Nicole's ego functioned for Nicole and was in service to and for Nicole, as long as it benefited the ego. The ego is not privy to all the wisdom of the culmination of all the lives that Nicole's higher self has had and has privy to. And there is the friction. The ego wants the say. The ego wants to be in control. The egoic mind. Now, Nicole's soul contract ended last year. I recognize that I was, I chose to be Nicole in this life stream. And this is the body that I chose. And that was the family that I chose and all those things. 
But all of that is over with. Really. I am, I am anchored into the soul being of Andalusia. That's why you see me identify as Nick Lucy. I am known as Lucy throughout the universes. Commander Andalusia is another moniker that I'm known as. And I really, I don't identify with Nicole very much, but when I started my channel, it was Healing Disclosures with Nicole. I didn't even know my soul name. So I don't leave it to let it go totally. So it's not completely confusing, but that's why I really only identify with Andalusia as Nicole's life and soul contract is over with. I've mer I'm merging with my 5D self. This is a process of evolution and expansion. It is so far beyond anything that we're ever taught or expected in this, you know, lower dimension life. You have to transcend those limitations of thought. But whenever you're really trying to get through to the trickster stuff, you have trickster. It's because your egoic mind is at war with your faith. And if you have true faith beyond measure, no matter what it you can touch with your finger or see with your human eyes, then your ego has a whole lot less power over you. Whenever you remind yourself every day, I tamed my ego. The ego is now quietly sitting in the back seat saying nothing the ego has nothing more to say to me like put it on some post-its put it on some on write it on the first thing you write at your desk every day write it at the top of your calendar like make it an affirmation for you to remind you that you actually have the power you do you have to have the faith and you have to do the shadow work to truly tap into that power and shut the ego up so if your higher self is running you all over creation, doing really odd things, chances are that's a trickster higher self. A, a true higher self is going to like prime example. I may get up in the day, go through my morning routines, have all the intentions set to record a video. When it comes time to record the video, I ask my higher self, is it my highest and best good to record this video now? Eight times out of 10, I get yes. Those other two times, no. The energies have shifted. Is now in your highest and best good to meditate? Okay. But I have free will choice. I can go, and I've done this in the past when I was not as wise. Well, but I've done all this preparation and I got my face on and everything's set. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through this, this video anyway. So that's immediately where my free will choice is honored. And I'm forcing something that if I would have gone with the flow of the energies and the guidance of the higher self, I would be meditating and processing the energies that are at, at flux now. But now I've decided to throw caution to the wind, not listen to the higher self and dive right into those tumultuous energies. So this is what used to happen. I would have multiple problems recording. The, the Wi-Fi would stay unstable. I would have multiple problems editing. It would take literally all day to do a very short video and get it successfully uploaded. And then there's always the quiet, quiet of the higher self, quiet of source, quiet guides, where I can just feel them. Uh huh. You asked for guidance and we gave it. And then you opted not to follow it. You had a rough day. And it's, it just is, right? And so I had to learn. I had to get over myself. I had to accept that the wisdom I tap into for guidance really is very wise. 
And when the energy shift and maybe I haven't felt it, or maybe just because I didn't want to recognize it. And then I choose to not listen to the guidance. It falls under the heading of you bought the ticket. Now you ride the ride. Right. So I decided I was going to jump into that pond of influx energies and tumultuous energies. And I got exactly what they knew I was going to get if I didn't listen, but they never said, are you sure you want to do that? They never question. They give you the answer you ask for, and it is up to you to do with what you want with it. So that's how you know you're dealing with true guidance. Because they're not going to come in and that's trickster. If you can't get your higher self to shut up, that's trickster. Your higher self shouldn't have that much dialogue, overt dialogue with you to be like bullying you. So if your higher self is doing that, that's a clue. If your source, if your source that you believe is source is manipulating you, making you feel judged, making you feel unworthy or undeserving, that's trickster. That's a trickster source. That's not true source. True source is encouraging, compassionate, kind. Um, there is usually, if I have done what I just described to you, and then I go to source later uh, to say, I absolutely should have followed my guidance. There's always a You'll remember that next time. There's always another opportunity to make better choices. Like there's always some encouragement there. There's never, ever, ever, I told you so. We warned you. Like none of that stuff. None of that stuff. So if that's what you're getting, it's trickster. If your guides are talking to you in very low frequency terms, like guilt, shame, blame, fear, judgment, those kind of things, it's trickster. Guides should advise only when asked, period. They are higher consciousness. They have transcended the life. They have volunteered to be a guide for you, but through love, kindness, and compassion, they are not to be overtly like running your life. That's trickster. As soon as you start to seed doubt, as soon as you start to seed the doubts with fear, judgment, resistance to change, you are instigating tri trickster energy. You are inviting in trickster energy. There's been often times where someone gets trickster and they go, but I've been doing my shadow work. Okay. One doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the other. Trickster is tied to ego. Trickster is tied to ego. So something came up somewhere along your day and you exhibited a weakness and that trickster energy saw an opportunity. And it is meant for us to grow. It's not meant to defeat us, but it can defeat us if we're not strong enough to discern which end is up. It's meant to show us discernment. It's meant to show us that true wisdom and guidance from a place of neutrality does not look like trickster energy at all, no matter what they say. And why do we have this training? Why are we going through this? Because it's very frustrating. When you have trickster energy, it's super frustrating. It, it, it's a gut punch. You're like, dang, I've been doing so much work on myself. And that is still a true statement, but you also have more work to do. We get trickster energy and we have these tests and trials because as we transcend this dimension and we elevate into higher dimensions, we encounter beings from multiple different planets and star systems and universes who are, well, they're not human by and large, and they don't understand duality of a lower density planet like Earth. And they, they can be very difficult to read if you're not putting into practice these things that you've actually learned dealing with yourself. Yeah, it's all earth school. It's all about discerning energy. 
It's all about feeling into it. So your gut has to be the thing you tap into the most. It's your intuition. No matter what is coming in via your clairs, no matter what trickster higher self is saying or trickster source or trickster guide, if your gut really thinks this doesn't set well with me, something feels off, honor that honor that that is your intuition that is what we have to get back to we have to get back to that okay it's it's the ignoring your intuition as a as a people that got us here in case you were wondering now let's get back to honoring intuition okay this is why you don't need ego again you do not need an ego to live your intuition is going to guide you away from things that are not in your highest and best good and toward things that are without a conversation. You don't have to be lobbied against, okay, or for. When you are tired of not uh, not being clear, when you're tired of being manipulated, whether it be from people outside of you or your egoic mind, there is one thing I can recommend to do, and that is get a QET session, get your energy clear, and then you have a much easier time, although it is still a, a pill, dealing with your trickster energy. Because now you know that you're clear. And you also then, you come into violetlotusenergy.com and you get your QET session. You have two choices for a very loving, compassionate support system that you may not have in your own world most don't and that is spaces which is a um, a partner social site where people that are members of the website can join and they can join in general groups or very very specific groups and then we also have telegram groups where you can join for a community of those that are going through their shadow work and going through their ascension and dealing with the fuckery. And they're like, hello, I have a question. <laughs> Has anyone's higher self told them to go to Walmart and just hug everybody that comes in the door? Okay. No, no. Is that, do I have trickster? Like literally you have people that are as you know, passionate about staying clear in their energy, but are also learning and discerning. They'll hear that and they go, oh no, there's something wrong with that. That's off. And they can check. Yep. You're clear, but you got trickster and they can kind of help go through that because when you have trickster energy and it's trickster higher self, you can't really trust the guidance you get. You have to have someone kind of bounce that off of you, but we also have some ways to help you discern what is the source of the trickster energy? What are they feeding off of? And then kind of guide you to do the shadow work to do that. So none of this is us doing it for you. It is you having a support system to help you do this for you. That's how we heal ourselves. In case you were wondering, that's how we do it. It is energy, but it's also loving, unity, compassion, kindness, community. That's how we do it. I would love for you to stop by violetlotusenergy.com. Check out our services. Check out all the offerings that we have. There's more coming all the time. And see what you can do to help clear up your energy so that you have a, a much better guided day, life in general, on your way to new earth in the fifth dimension. Have a blessed day.